I'd like to now invite Mr. Yogendra Tripathi, the Chairman and Managing Director of the Food Corporation of India. Professor Prabhu Pingali, Madam Damyanti, Nilamboj, and distinguished guests. I must first apologize for delaying the start of the process. You already have had excellent presentations on what the NFSA is all about, the present stage of NFSA implementation, the improvement, the efficiencies, the effective targeting in the NFSA system at the stage at which we are in the country, which is moving forward at a very brisk pace. The issues related with linking the food system to ensure that it transits from cereal sufficiency to nutrition-based sufficiency. The challenges, the issues, the evolution is already before you. Under these circumstances, it would be inappropriate for me to say much about it. As of now, I am only a practitioner in terms of logistic arrangements for ensuring that the cereal productions the cereal produced within the country gets appropriately distributed to ensure that the food grain sufficiency is there across the country. However, I would definitely like to say that the issues which are being raised at this stage is the most opportune moment of raising this issue. I am saying that in context of the fact that all these states joined NFSA only very recently. And that required tremendous amount of persuasion from the central government. Not just the persuasion, in fact, I would say, tactical policy interventions which practically forced some of the state governments which were slow in coming on board on the NFSA Act provisions. Not only that, the issue of ensuring that government intervenes in different manners, be it in terms of as policy or in terms of operation, to ensure that farmers get their due benefit not only for wheat and rice, but also for some other producers, has started happening much more effective in another community, that is pulses. If you have been observing the news items, you would have seen the decision of the government of ensuring that there is a buffer stocking done for the purposes of pulses as well across the country. And three major agencies have been involved in this process by the government of India. This process has started at a time when the pulse prices were very high in the country. But it definitely had, at the back of the mind, the policy intervention of ensuring that pulse production also comes to a stable level, like the wheat and rice, in the country. And that can only be ensured if a reasonable level of benefits are available to the producers of the pulses. If you look at the pulse pricing and how it has happened at, over the period of time, the cyclical nature in, the, in which the production has gone up and gone down, it's linked to the market prices in the preceding years. And you will see that the pulse prices on one time would go four times or five times in the market of the MSPs declared by the government of India. And the very next year, the farmer would not be able to uh, get even the declared MSP. To remove that dichotomy, which resulted in tremendous amount of fluctuation in the area which was shown by the farmers, 
effective intervention mechanism has started from the last year and has been up scale this year. Therefore, the government of India has taken a target of having at least, say, a buffer stock of about 20 lakh tons of pulses. And the first focus is to have it from the Indian market, which basically in some ways on one side provides the security to the farmers if he has grown pulses. On the other side, also effectively promotes pulse production. So in some ways, in operational terms also, apart from the policy statements which uh, the government has always been laying on on the uh, um, diversification of various crops, effective policy intervention has started happening. And I'm quite sure this is going to be a continuous exercise. The process which has been started would definitely be a continuing exercise. And I do hope and expect that it would also bring, out, bring about a certain level of stability, increased production in pulses in the country over a period of time. This year, we do have bumper pulse crops and effective market intervention would ensure that the farmers do not suffer at the hands of the trade and various other circumstances. And that hopefully would give more stability to the pulse production over a period of time in the country. Coming to the other issues, Nilambuj has already mentioned about uh, food fortification process, initial steps which have been uh, initiated. Though I'm not an agriculture expert, I've never worked in agriculture sector, but we do know that there has been a very focused attention in last eight, 10 years on in form of a horticulture mission in the country, which very, in a focused manner, did support uh, programs focusing on increasing production, crop area in the food production, uh, sorry, in the uh, in the fruit, uh, uh, for, for fruit production. And if we, if we, the details which uh, I saw does indicate that there has been a net area increase, though it may not have been sufficient for um, fruit production. The challenges of fruit production, it's, uh, uh, storage, its movement, and because of the challenges of storage and movement, the challenge of, of ensuring that the farmer gets at least a reasonable return on what he does becomes much higher, which is known to all of us, in fact, in the field. If you look at the time when the potato crops are coming, say this year, you would, uh, hear a lot of anecdotal stories that the farmer is not even able to get a rupee for his crop, which in Delhi, I or you would be, even in the cheapest of the time, would be buying at about rupees, 10 a kg. However, given the perishable nature of the commodity, uh, a mega scale intervention directly by the government would have its own limitations, but in terms of policy promotions, in terms of enabling environment for creating a market environment and condition where the opportunities for the producers increases for it to be done effectively are the areas which are point of focus of the government, I'm sure would continue to be the point of focus. But the question is how effectively they pan out would also depend on the level of the cooperation and the interest taken by the state governments along with the central government. Uh, the national e-market is, is, is an operation which is happening in that direction. As uh, one, all of us feel that, and as rightly pointed out by Professor himself, that in terms of lines, these are very logical lines, look very simple to do. But in terms of operations, each one of them are mammoth tasks to be done. I'm sure process of thinking in that direction has already been on 
a more focused thinking is already going on. So this seminar is happening at the time when the inputs which we get from these seminars can also help the decision makers further in trying to have a more focused approach and appropriate levels of policy interventions wherever possible. I would expect and I'm quite confident that we would get certain kinds of inputs which, will, which we should be able to use in a stepwise manner over a period of time to further move towards nutrition-based food security system for the country. Thank you very much. And once again, let me apologize for having delayed the process of starting the seminar. Thank you.